it should be different among those who say they follow Jesus. But too often, the evidence says otherwise. Where the scriptures call us to be loyal, we sabotage. Where the scriptures call us to honor, we spin disrespect. Where the scriptures call us to stand for the truth, we recline in gossip. Where the scriptures call us to reconcile, we demolish. Where the scriptures call us to learn, we keep teaching others. Where the scriptures call us to build up others' reputations, we tear them down. And where the scriptures call us to serve, we seek power and control for our own good. It is into this very reality for us as disciples that Jesus speaks these words. You know that the rulers in this world lord it over their people, and officials flaunt their authority over those under them. But among you it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first among you must be the servant of everyone else. As followers of Jesus, it not only should be different, but Jesus says it will be. How? How can we say that it is going to be different and that it is different when currently we see our actions so decisively against following Jesus and so pro-worldly ways? The answer is found in verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus' service was to live a life of truth, loyalty, respect, honor, and love. His service led him to a cross for us even when we waffle and live less than our created purpose and plan. We were placed on his back and our sins crucified with him on the cross. We were buried with him in the ground with him through baptism. But we are also lifted up away from the earth in new life, flight, just as he too was raised up on the third day. In following Jesus, being transformed by Jesus, and committing to his mission, it will be different. Let us pray. Lord God, we recognize that in our past we certainly have done the things that you have asked us not to do, and we've refused to do those things that you have called us to participate in. And we ask for your forgiveness, and we thank you for your mercy. But you promised us that life in you is going to be different. And so we pray that you would make that true for us today, that today you would give us the strength and your Holy Spirit to live out the lives that you've called us to live. Thank you for the gift of love, for your presence, and for leading us. And it is in your holy name we pray. Amen.